Hey everybody, this is Alchemisted, and this is Alien Swarm. Uh, this is a free game that was released over Steam, and uh, I first stumbled upon this when I was watching uh, Quick Look by Giant Bomb, and I saw that it was Aliens vs. Space Marines and free to play, and I can't imagine a way you could possibly go wrong with that. So I decided this was right up my alley, and I it was worth reinstalling Steam to take a look at, at least. Uh, let's see. Offline practice. I think I'm going to go there. Uh, let's jump right in, and I'll sort of explain. Uh, I'm not sure what the plot is here. Um, it's uh, it's kind of like... Uh, it's basically Gauntlet with Guns. No, it's not like Gauntlet with Guns. For those of you who remember, for those of you who played the old um, Aliens vs. Predator 2 on PC, it's kind of like that, but with an, but from an isometric view. In fact, it's almost exactly like you would imagine playing an Aliens game uh, would be like. There's even a... I'm not sure if it's actually a motion sensor, but it's got the uh, distinctive beep, 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 beep that one would expect the motion sensor from an alien movie to have. Uh, this is a bad thing about it, though. Loading times are kind of bad. At least to start with. I haven't played too far in, so I couldn't tell you if the load times get really, really atrocious later on. I guess we'll find out. I'm not sure if offline practice goes through the entire campaign, but, well, we'll see. Loading. I'm not sure what happened to that room in the background, but something fucked it up. Something fierce. Why do alien swarms always have to throw around alien snot everywhere, just filling up rooms with shit? They can't see. They can't use a keyboard. They can't sit in a chair. They've always got to redecorate it with all kinds of gross shit lying around. I never figured that out. I just hope I don't have to run around the grave mines insides again. Jesus. All right, there are a few audio hiccups in this game. All right, here's where you select your player. There are numerous classes you can select. Officer seems to be. Um, ye olde Mario character. Basically, he's a soldier. He can t do all kinds of shit. Special weapons. You have the heavy wep. They got the heavy weapons. Medic, self-explanatory. They heal people. And then you have techs who can weld doors shut and hack uh, locked doors open. Right. I'm going to be playing as Brock Samson here because he looks big and scary and hard to kill. Give me a talk. And yes, there is all kinds of um, incredibly cheesy marine dialogue in this game. At least, for as I didn't play very much into it, but I still found quite a bit. So I've got a IAF personal healing kit, an IAF advanced sentry gun. Ooh. Tech only, special weapons only. Twin pistols. Ammo for all weapon types used in the field. Each pack contains three ammo stashes. Okay. These... Ooh. Oh, fuck yeah. The Great Communicator. What do I have to do to unlock you? Using cutting through other soft materials. Okay. I'm assuming I have to find it somewhere. But the Great Communicator is an alien swarm. Okay. But you guys know what I'm going to be looking for, right? Oh. Ooh, that's... Fucking weird looking. Oh, for a second I thought it was actually one gun, but it is in fact two. A medical gun. Healing shivs for everyone. Precision rail rifle. A Tesla cannon. You know I want to try that thing out. And a pump action shotgun. Oh yeah. I don't quite see where the pump is on it though. It looks like a break open, but whatever. Raccoon City Massacre all around. That's how I do shit. So, it seems you can select two weapons and a healing item. Laser trip mine. I am hand welder. Advanced sentry gun. 
so I can plant something to look behind me. And what do you got? Vindicator, which is a what? Fires incendiary grenades. Assault rifle. Assault rifle. Assault rifle. I've got the auto gun, though. I've got the big motherfucker. Alright, an auto gun, a sentry gun, a healing kit. Alright, that sounds good. Mission details. Dropship Bloodhound will dock at the outer landing bay. Your squad must perform a sweep of the immediate area and gain access to the inner perimeter. We expect the doors in this section to be locked, so a technical engineer will be mission critical to bypass the security locks. In other words, it's an escort mission. Escort mission rage. All right. Okay, squad, we need to check the shipping manifest. See if any survivors made it off this rock. Make your way down to the landing bay and find a terminal where we can download the transport records. I'll check in with you there. Cue the eventual bug hunt reference. And there is something that I um, would like to talk about, and that's something I noticed. Uh, when I started playing this, is I immediately began using WASD before I even saw the prompt to do so. So, um, let it be known, Star Trek Online's influence is pervasive. And you heard the, uh, awesome- ooh, I can combo shit with the melee attack, nice. I'm not sure if I have to actually put the cursor on top of something, or if it'll- or if it's purely line of sight, I suppose we'll find out. Tab? Oh, that's a big fucking map. Oh, I can draw lines. Can I see my lines? No, I can't. Oh, what well, good... Okay. Alright, I get it. So that is if... This is, um... Like, how do you zoom in, though? How can you zoom in to use that? I wonder if there's any survivors. Digging the laser sight. This is a really good looking game. For a game that is free to play. And I have to melee those, but first I want to... Oh, Sarge is taking care of it for me, because Sarge is a badass. And you can hit the spacebar to roll. Something I had quite a bit of fun with. Oh, things did not end well for this guy. Anything under here? I can't go under there. There's a lot of Left 4 Dead-esque prompts in this. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, the wall tiles don't seem to fade when you pass by them. That's probably going to get me killed at least once. Like I said, there's plenty of cheesy um, Space Marine-esque dialogue. And see, tech only to hack open the door. I don't want him. I don't want him to hack open the door. I want him to weld this motherfucker. No problem. You got it. So, um, plenty of squad command gameplay. I love this job. <laughs> this is just something about rolling around with your own little band of space marines. Okay, hack that door. Anyways. They also uh, released a development kit, so I'm excited to see what people come up with. Oh, some bad shit happened here. Oh, shit. My detector just pinged. That's not good. Alright, sent to Helen Young. Date, 12, 1952. I'm guessing that is at... Don't like the sound. Subject, RE. Huh? Uh, you sociality? Is sociality? Anyways, from Brian Howe. Seems like a horrible nightmare. Yeah, it's not looking good for these people. We've run the numbers. All models for growth, lifespan, and metabolism only work when applied across the entire population. 
uh, rather than in two individuals. In some way, they're like advanced hive insects, a single advanced superorganism. Containment is vital. Okay, PDFs, a la Doom 3. I'm cool with that. A lot of people don't like Doom 3, but I have played far, far worse FPSs, especially ones that are put together just horribly. Daikatana immediately springs to mind. Doom 3 is playable. <laughs> I can enjoy Doom 3. In fact, I do enjoy Doom 3.